Welcome. In this video, I'm going to be taking a look at this High Ever sleep mask with Bluetooth headphones. So this was provided to me by the distributor, but they're not compensating me for this video and they're not reviewing it before I post it. If you find this video helpful, I'll put a link to this in the description on Amazon. And if you use that link, it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost you anything extra. So this says, Hi Ever Sleep Mask, enjoy a better life. Unique gift, sleep headphones, rechargeable, free return warranty. On the back, we have the specs. It says Bluetooth version is 5.0 plus EDR. Transmission distance is up to 65 feet or 20 meters. The timer setting from one hour to eight hours. Rechargeable lithium battery is 200 milliamp hours. Micro USB charge is five volts at 0.5 amps. So here's the sleep mask. We have instructions, contact card. There's a case to store them in and a micro USB. It said micro USB, but this is actually USB-C. I like USB type C better than micro USB, so I think that's better. So here are the instructions. It says 5.0 Bluetooth version compatible with any Bluetooth enabled devices. Made of premium material to keep you soft. Built in microphone for answering or calling. Hand washable after removing the Bluetooth modules. 30 day money back guarantee and 24 hour friendly customer service. We covered some of these specs here, but here we have charging time is 1.5 to two hours. Working time is 10 to 12 hours. Included in the package is Bluetooth sleep mask, charging cable, user manual, customer service card. So here's the control panel. We have the LED status light, the volume down, next track, on off play, pause, answer, volume up, previous track, and charging port. And then these are the controls. So I know some people will watch this because they lost the instructions. So you can pause this and read through these. So to turn it on and off, you hold it for three seconds. You press it once to play or pause the music. For volume up and down, you press and hold the minus or plus. So next and previous track, you're going to press those buttons once. So you hold it down for volume, press it once to go to the next or previous track. To answer the call, you press the play button. To reject a call, you hold it down for three seconds. And to switch to mobile device, you hold it down for three seconds. So to connect to the sleep mask, you turn on the Bluetooth on the device, turn on the sleep mask, connect to BTFAAH on the device. The LED, if it's rapidly flashing blue and red, it's pending to be connected. And if it's connected, it will slowly flash blue. When turned on, the sleep mask will connect automatically to the last connected device. Otherwise, it will go into pairing mode. Only one connection is allowed with this. So how to wash it? You open the zipper, push the control panel out of its pocket, and take out the two speakers. It says hand wash or machine wash the sleep mask. It says do not expose it to liquids. Don't allow it near acid or alkaline materials. Do not allow it close to fire. Remove the module before washing. Charge it when you receive it. Turn it off to save power when you're not using it. It makes a DDD sound when it reaches maximum volume. So if you're pressing the volume button or holding it down on here, when you hear DDD, you know it's at the max volume. So here's the mask. So it has sort of a padded material. So it feels like there's a foam. So this is kind of a stretchy, I don't know if I'd say t-shirt material. There's foam on the inside. This has like a spandex kind of a material. So it's kind of silky feeling. On the back, it has a clip here. So that slides in and this will adjust. So you can slide this bigger or smaller. So I tend to adjust these and then just slip it over my head. I don't usually disconnect it to put it on. So I think this is to help block the light around your nose. And here's the control. So the charging port is out. So that would plug in here. And that would plug into a power adapter, power brick. You can plug it in a wall USB port, car, you name it. That will charge up. And we can open up the zipper here. And I think they put this like this so you can see it, but you can just tuck it in here when you're using it. like so. So I'm going to power this on and I have my tablet here to connect to. Turn the light off so I don't have so much glare. So I'm going to go into my Bluetooth settings. I'll turn this on by holding down power. It said power on. I could barely hear it. And this isn't a speaker. This is a headphone. So this should show up here. There we go. BTFAAH. I'll select that. It said connected. So now I'll go into some music. Okay, I can hear that. I'll press plus to go to the next track. Next track previous track. Then I can hold down the minus button to turn the volume down. I'll hold down the plus to turn it back up. There we had the beep for max volume. I can press play pause to stop it. There we go. 
On the box it mentioned timer setting. I'm not seeing anything in the instructions about that, but typically with whatever audio software I'm using, it'll have a timer function. So I like to use Amazon Music and turn on some sleep music and I'll have like white noise, things like that. Okay, so I'm going to put this on and turn the camera around so you can see how this fits on my head. Okay, here I have it on. So you can see the controls are right here. So I can press the middle button to turn on. I can press it again to play. So I'll hold down the minus to turn it down a little bit. I can hit plus to go to the next track. I'll pause this. So there's a little black uh, flap here. So I found that I want to pull this down to help block under my eyes here. So I can still see a little bit of light coming through on the bottom and the top, but there's a lot of lights around me right now. If I was in my bed where it's relatively dark, I do have a little light coming in the window at night, but this would probably block out all of the light. And I can kind of pull down on that little thing and press it against my face. So with that pressed down, that really blocks it out and makes it dark, but it's very comfortable. I don't feel any irritation on my nose like I have with some masks. Then the speakers on the side, you can slide them back and forth to adjust them to be directly onto your ear. Or maybe you don't want them directly on your ear, you can move them forward and backwards. So let's take a look at taking the controls out and cleaning it. Okay, so let's see how to remove this so we could clean it. So I'll open this up. So the control is in this pouch. So that is out. It doesn't really say which one is right or left channel, but it looks like the top one is going to the right side. Okay, so I'm just sticking my two fingers in there. I'm going to grab the speaker and pull it out. There we go. Oh, and that does say right on the speaker itself, so that's nice. I'll do the same on the left-hand side. There we go. So now we have the whole thing out, so this could be washed. You can hand wash this. In the instructions it said machine wash, and I think on the package it said hand wash. So I'd probably stick this in a little laundry bag and machine wash it on a gentle cycle, and then I'd probably let it air dry. But I'm not a laundry expert. So to put this back in, I'll take the right side, and you can see there's a little area here that this is going to fit into. You want to make sure that the foam side is out. That's the speaker direction. Okay, so I have it right here. I'll do the same to the other side. Now when putting the control in, you wanna make sure the buttons line up. You don't want it in backwards or upside down. There we go. So that's the Hi Ever Sleep Mask with Bluetooth speakers. I really like sleep masks like this. You can put them on, they'll block out the light, and then I'll typically put some white noise on. The ones I've been listening to recently are like forests with rain or a crackling fire. I think there was one I was listening to that had crackling fire and the rain. So I find it to be very relaxing. And I use a sleep mask sometimes to fall asleep and then sometimes I'll if I don't use it to fall asleep, I'll wake up in the middle of the night and have trouble getting back to sleep and I'll put a sleep mask on with a little bit of white noise and that really helps me fall back to sleep. So that's all I'm going to cover in this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.